The theme of psychopaths makes a common appearance in thriller films such as Silence of the Lambs, American Psycho, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and the recently released Joker. It might even feel kind of empty if the psychopath were missing in a thriller movie. But not just in movies, psychopaths can actually exist around us. Some research estimates that about 1% of the world's population are psychopaths. That means that one out of 100 people around us may be a psychopath. People who have the tendency to exhibit antisocial behavior, lack of empathy and guilt, low self-control, extreme self-centeredness, and deception may be psychopaths. Normally, the extent of the condition remains hidden, making it harder for people around them to notice, and is only revealed when their behavior becomes criminal. A book by Hervey Cleckley from 1976 entitled The Mask of Sanity details various characteristics that can be seen as a foundation for what is now known as the psychopath. According to research by Brookhammer National Laboratory, in comparison to normal people, only about 15% of the psychopath's frontal lobe functions normally, which is the part of the brain that controls emotions. This makes them insensitive to the pain of others and lacking in any compunction or remorse. And because they are insensitive to pain, they are not afraid of receiving punishment for their crimes. Therefore, they are more prone to recommit crimes and become serial criminals compared to others. Also, because they lack serotonin, a secretion that suppresses aggressive behavior, they exhibit a greater tendency to become aggressive, even with minor triggers. Hence, psychopathy is regarded as an overall pathological illness that combines genetic and biological factors with socio-environmental factors. The way the Joker in the movie Joker descends into madness after being pushed to his limits is similar to the digression of the psychopath. However, unlike the Joker from The Dark Knight Rises, the Joker from the movie Joker makes the audience empathize with his emotions and follow the actions that eventually lead to social problems. The reason that audiences empathize with this Joker is that his thoughts and behaviors are caused by extreme stimulation from outside factors, unlike most other psychopaths. The difference between the typical psychopath and the Joker is that the typical psychopath tends to be aggressive toward minor things. Canadian psychologist Dr. Robert D. Hare has developed a method called psychopathic diagnosis, called PCLR, where each question scores between 0 and 2 points, with a total score of 40. If the overall score is 33 to 40 points, it is classified as an extremely high psychopathic tendency of the fifth stage. 25 to 32 points is the fourth stage, with slightly high tendencies to psychopathy. And 17 to 24 points is the third stage, considered average. 0 to 8 points is a very low score in the first stage. Psychopaths are not hallucinatory or delusional, but rather are people who look normal with above average intelligence but lack response to social control. Because criminal behavior is not part of the defining characteristics to classify a psychopath, just because someone is classified as a psychopath does not mean that he or she will commit a crime. Of the 50 to 70 percent of prison inmates that have antisocial personality disorders, only 15 percent are psychopaths. Unexpectedly, psychopaths can also be found amongst the upper classes, women, and adolescents. In fact, since psychopaths possess the high intelligence and logic to plan an advanced crime, they are often successful in society. An analysis of the UK's top executives' personalities revealed that most of them matched common traits of psychopaths. One of the studies revealed that 3.5% of the subjects soon to be promoted to executive levels were found to be psychopaths. There is no known cure for psychopaths yet, and because psychopaths who receive psychological treatment can then commit more intelligent and vicious crimes, it is more important to stop them from committing further crimes than to treat them.